Last year, I made a video that reviews the first year of my total earnings on Sazzle. And I also share some life success stories as examples to help you see how to approach the print on demand business model with the right mindset. If you haven't seen it yet, I highly suggest you go watch that one first, then come back to this one so you will have a much better understanding of how to look at the numbers I'm going to show you. I will put the link of that video on the top screen and in the description for your convenience. This is Trevor and welcome to Financial Freedom Style. Sasso is not the only print on demand platform I have been building my online business on. But this video is mainly focused on the second year of my Sasso earnings and what I have learned. In my second year on Sasso, I was still learning it on my own with the free resources I could find such as YouTube, podcasts and other websites. I did get more sales than my first year, which was great. However, looking back, I could have done much better because I wasn't working on my Zazzle business as consistent as my previous years since I was spending little more time working on my other print-on-demand platforms and other tasks. There were at least two to maybe three months total throughout the year I didn't update my Zazzle shops. So I want to share with you what are the things I can do and improve on to get better results this year after I review my new numbers to you. I don't plan to drag in any longer, so let's dive in. There's actually a slight correction on the numbers I need to make from the video last year. I reviewed the first year of my total Sazzle earnings was $274.55 by the end of February 2022. But I started Sazzle on February 1st of 2021. So what I meant to say actually was by the end of January of 2022 instead to make a full year count. And I actually made $281.85 instead of $274.55. But why is that? That's because when I was collecting my sales data for the video last year, some of my sales were still not finalized by Zazzle yet. Therefore, the confusion. And now, in my second year, the total of my Zazzle earnings from February 1st of 2022 to January 31st of 2023 was $766.15. That's approximately 2.7 times more than what I made the previous year. Combined, I have made $1,048 total on Sazzle in two years. This is considered good progress doing it on my own based on the success stories I shared in my video last year. So what can I do to get better results on Sazzle this year? And I believe these ideas can help you improve your Sazzle business as well. If I choose to continue to do it on my own, I should work on building my shops more regularly and stick to a routine so I have a system to follow to be consistent and productive. I am still working on getting it down for myself, but there are some examples I came up with. It is to spend an hour or two every week to do researches on keywords and what kind of designs and products my potential buyers are interested in. I can create 7 to 15 or more new product listings in a weekly basis, promote on social media platforms once or twice a week, add 1 to 2 new collections or improve the existing ones every week, study the sales data at the end of each week to see what designs and products are doing good and what other ones need to be improved. Other than setting up and following a system that can keep you in progress, you may also consider taking a mentorship, someone you resonate with or you believe they can help you get to your goals quicker. About Christine's success stories I shared last year, she just had another interview with her mentors Jane and Elka, which was about 5 months ago. It turned out she had been making between $12,000 to $15,000 earnings on Sazzle every month now. When she first started doing it on her own, she made only $132 in 2 years, which was a big contrast, don't you agree? So what are some of the benefits having a mentorship? First of all, the teachings and the lessons will be all in one place so you don't have to hunt for them everywhere online by yourself. They will be organized and exclusive. You will be guided step by step and that will help you avoid making unnecessary mistakes which will save you time from any guesswork. There will be live group coaching calls as your life support. So you will be more confident in knowing what you need to do next along the way and not getting stuck easily and you will be a part of the community with other like-minded people who are also invested and working on similar goals together so you won't feel alone and give up easily when you are building your own online business. But for sure, you can definitely do it on your own and still have a chance to be successful, only that it will just take longer and you will need a lot more patience on your Sazzle journey. Whichever way you decide to go with building your Sazzle business, keep on rolling 
keep learning, and stay committed. If you find this video helpful, hit the like button and I appreciate it. Also, if you haven't yet, subscribe and turn on the bell so you'll be notified when there's new updates on this channel. You have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.